The Pro Channel is a modular fantasy control built into every track and bus in Sonar. Pro Channel is designed to emulate many of the classic mixing console processors. It has a small graphic footprint and a low CPU demand. Pro Channel combines great sound with an ergonomic design. You can bring Pro Channel into view by clicking on a track or bus. It's always available to prevent hunting through VST windows to make changes. You can access Pro Channel from any inspector by clicking on the dedicated Pro Channel tab. It can also be accessed from the console by clicking on the Show Hide Pro Channel button. You can only open Pro Channel in one view at a time. When you open Pro Channel in the console view, it closes in the inspector and vice versa. The Pro Channel consists of one or more modules. The Quad Curve EQ module is permanent, so it cannot be removed from Pro Channel. Several Pro Channel modules come with X2, and more are available from Cakewalk and third party developers. The included modules are two console emulators, one for buses and one for tracks. Each emulator has three different types to choose from. Two compressors, the U76 channel type compressor and the PC4KS bus type compressor. There are two saturation modules, the tube saturator and the soft tube saturation knob. A reverb module, the Breverb Sonar, and an FX chain module where you can load any FX chain or VST. You can also drag FX chains into the Pro Channel from the browser. You can even use Pro Channel as an FX bin by dragging in any VST plugin. Where you drop the VST determines its position in the chain. With the exception of the Quad Curve EQ, you can remove, insert, and replace any module. You can call up these modules by right-clicking. You can then reposition them by dragging them into any position you need, then expanding or collapsing them as required. You can scroll through Pro Channel using the mouse wheel or page keys, or Jump to the top and bottom using the Home and N keys on your computer's keyboard. The Preset Management area displays the name of the current preset and allows you to save or load custom presets as well. You can access this in the Console view or the Inspector. The Global On-Off button functions as a bypass switch. The On-Off switch for the individual modules, however, don't change. There's also a Pre-Post switch in the Console view. This switch can also be set as pre or post effects bin by right clicking this view in the inspector. The same menu allows you to set the default modules. You even have the option to set different defaults for tracks and buses. To set the defaults for a bus, make sure that a bus is actively selected.